Hydronitis separativa. This disease has been robbing me from the pleasures of life ever since I hit puberty. I was a young boy going to school, walking to school with boils coming out of my thighs. Every day I would be in pain. Every day I would be covered in pus and blood. This disease has caused so much trauma as a boy in my life. Because, let's be honest, it causes so much self-image problems, so much depression, and you're constantly in pain. Every day, there is pain. So, what do you do? You learn to fight, you push, you push, you push, you keep pushing, keep moving forward. I will get through this. Then years go by, years go by, and just one day you get tired of pushing. This pain, this drive you had to keep going starts to burn out. The fire starts to die. So I've decided, what am I going to do? Am I going to live the rest of my life in this pain? And no, to be honest, I thought about taking my life because this life of pain is a life not worth living. But I got out that dark moment, that dark space, and I really thought about it. And I dedicated my life to trying to figure out how to get out of this. Because it's something really crazy, right? When you go out to dinner and you're eating and you're watching what you eat because what's on the web, right? Stay away from sugar, processed foods, don't be obese. So I'm working out, I'm in shape, I'm eating right. And this person across, whether it's a family member or a friend, has a burger, fries, dessert, and they're eating this food and nothing comes out. They have no negative result from this food. And every single meal that I have, I'm in fear. There's such a fear of what is this meal gonna do for me? Is this meal gonna stop me from walking? Is this meal going to make me call out from work the next day? What is this meal going to do? And it's scary. It's scary to eat because you don't know. One day pizza's fine. The next day pizza, you'll have three boils coming out of your leg. It's the most horrible way to live that I can imagine. It's just crazy. And then what, what do they say? Not to be obese, right? To work out, get a daily workout regimen. I've been working out for more than 20 years. 20 years. You see me here, right? In the best shape of my life. But deep down inside, I cried. My body was crying. My body was in pain. I used to work out. And every time I would lift the weight or whatever, you, I could feel the boils popping. I could feel my body's immune system lowering. I could feel fevers coming out. And I will use that pain to keep driving, to keep pushing harder and harder because that drove me crazy. I wanted more out of life and this disease didn't let me. It would stop me in every way possible. So out of, every time I got out of my workouts, I would be covered in blood, covered in pus with a fever. Every workout, every workout, every workout. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I stay away from sugar, I don't drink juice or soda, I just drink water. So what is it? It drove me crazy, what is it? So what do they say? Do the surgeries, right? I've had over 15 surgeries and what happens? They just move next door. <laughs> the boils that were there before move next door. You go to this doctor, they say they take this pill. You go to this doctor, they take that pill. So what do they do? They recommend antibiotics. What that does to your gut? It ruins your immune system. Now you have so many other problems, so many digestive problems, you're going crazy. This has been my life for 15 years. You work so hard, I look so good, right, physically. And I'm scared to take my clothes off in front of, of my girlfriend. Because I'm so self-conscious about my body. What does she think about this lump or so much? So you, have, you get erectile dysfunction because your thoughts are so negative. You can't even get an erection because you're just thinking about 
Oh, does she see it? What is she gonna? I can only imagine what's the feeling of a woman. It, it must be so hard. And I'm just telling you my story. I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like to go through all those different things. And I just want to let you know that if you're pushing each and every day, I, I, commend you, I commend you the highest honor that I can commend anybody in this world because it is tough. It is hard and you are doing it each and every day. I want to know that I love you and I want you to reach out. I want you to email me. Let's stay in touch because this disease, no one deserves to go through this disease by themselves. I know what it is when you want to just isolate yourself, but that doesn't help. That just causes more depression and more suicidal thoughts and so much and so much more downward spiral that we're not going to do anymore. All right. I finally created an ebook that give, has given me my life back, that's given me the life back of so many other people. And we're at 100 percent success rate. I want to keep that going forward. Try my ebook out. Email me. Get involved. Let's get our lives back. It's not too late. It is never too late. We're not going to let this thing stop us. God bless you. I love you. Reach out, get in touch, get involved. If you or someone you know has HS, send them this video, send them my story so that they know they're not alone. I am here for you. You're reaching out to me. When you email me, you're talking to me. I found my purpose in life and this is it right now. The purpose of my life right now is to get you back on track. God bless you. Speak to you soon.